Howdy! In this video, we're going to start a three-part series, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about how to put a function into a power series. Okay, we're going to talk about how to do it algebraically, then in the other two parts, we'll talk about how to use calculus in order to manipulate. But before we get to parts two and three, let's talk about the basics of it. What I want, my goal, is to have a 1 over 1 minus some function. Because you can do two things with it once you get it into this form. The first thing you can do to it is put it in between absolute values, set it less than 1, and you'll be able to find the radius and interval of convergence. The other thing you can do with it is you can put it within a series. It'll be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of that f of x, and then you're going to raise all of that to the n. Now, if you had to do any algebra on the outside in order to put it into that form, don't forget to multiply that algebra on the outside of your series as well. So let's run through an example. Let's take a look at number one. Number one, I have x to the fifth over nine plus x squared. My goal is a one on top, one on the bottom left, minus some function. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out an x to the fifth. That way I can have x to the fifth times one over nine plus x squared. Got my one on top, and now I need a one on the bottom left. I want to factor out a nine, and so this is going to be x to the fifth over nine times one over one plus, be careful, you factor the nine out of everything, so this will be x squared over nine. The last thing that you're going to do is I've got a one on top, one on the bottom left. I need this to be a minus, not a plus. And if you see a plus there, what we'll do is we'll have x to the fifth over 9 times 1 over 1 minus a negative x squared over 9. And that's how you'll algebraically manipulate it, so you have a 1 over 1 minus some function. So once I get it simplified at this point, I like to box this function right here, because we're going to do a couple of things with it. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'll let the absolute value of negative x squared over 9 set that less than 1 do a little bit of algebra to solve for x so for since its absolute value is at negative is irrelevant so multiplying the 9 over absolute value of x squared is less than 9 taking the square root absolute value of x is less than 3 therefore 3 is your radius notice how coefficient of x is a 1 so your radius is equal to 3, and as for your interval, it will be negative 3 to 3. Now that I have my radius and my interval, let's go ahead and find my series. So once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this as the sum from n equals 0 to infinity, and all of that, the negative, the x squared, and the 9 are all being raised to the n. But notice I have to do a little bit of algebra to put it into that form. All right, I have an x to the fifth over 9. And so, make sure you do the x to the fifth over 9 on the outside. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and distribute my n. So we'll have x to the fifth over 9 is equal... Oh, nope, just kidding. x to the fifth over 9 times the sum from 0 to infinity, distributing that n to negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n over 9 to the n. And the last thing that you're going to do, the last thing we're going to do is multiply the x to the 5th n, and I'll multiply the 9 in. So your final answer is going to be the sum from 0 to infinity, be the sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, Multiplying that x to the 5th n will be x to the 2n plus 5. And then multiplying the 9n, that'll be 9 to the n plus 1. So algebraically, what you're going to do is you want to put it into this form. Once you have it in this form, you'll do two things with it. You'll set it less than 1, the absolute value, find a radius interval of convergence just like we did previously, and these 999 times out of 1,000 will always be exclusive. There's very, very special cases in which it isn't, 
more than not, it will always be exclusive. So you don't need to do the whole check each end like we did previously. Then um, I'm going to take whatever I boxed, raise all of that to the end, and if you did any algebra on the outside, make sure you put that in the outside of your series, and then from there, just solve.